you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host, Laura, and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. Strong sales for this year's Madden NFL, an action sequel, Borderlands 2, were not quite enough to stop the latest slide in video game sales. Borderlands 2 sold more than three times as many units as 2009's original Borderlands, successfully turning the original game into a major franchise. In total, however, this year's September video game sales could not match up to last year, which, to be fair, included Gears of War 3. Details and visuals of upcoming Borderlands 2 downloadable content have been released by 2K Games, showing Captain Scarlet and her pirate's booty in Borderlands 2. The eye-rollingly lame naming aside, a pirate-themed add-on campaign sounds pretty awesome to me. I think I would really enjoy that. This DLC is setting sail Tuesday, October 16th, so we won't have to wait very long to play it, and it focuses on the one-eyed pirate queen, Captain Scarlet. And it's set in an expansive desert that features a bandit-filled shantytown called Oasis. I just love bandit-filled shantytowns. Sounds like fun. The new campaign tasks players with battling new enemies, like sandworms, so that won't be too new, but it'll be something new. Hovering across the terrain in a new sand skiff vehicle, that might be pretty cool, and collecting a new currency called Seraph Crystals. That's great, because Iridium ain't worth nothing anymore. Seriously, I have way too much of that stuff. Randy Pitchard has said the new campaign was designed for all gamers, with all gamers in mind, from those who haven't finished the game to the elite who are replaying it again to discover more swag. Earlier this week, a major title update for Borderlands 2 was made available for download. The update addresses a number of gameplay issues, including one which had players being stuck on a loading screen or an empty black screen when traveling to another area. A host of other problems were fixed, including the controller endlessly vibrating, which seemed to happen to me every time I played split screen. Also included in the update is a all-new character class called the Mechromancer, which brings the total number of playable characters in the game to five. For people who pre-ordered the game, like me, and members of the Borderlands 2 Premier Club, Gage the Mechromancer is free to download. Otherwise, she is going for 800 Microsoft points on Xbox Live. Microsoft has issued a short response to the reports that Halo 4 has been leaked weeks ahead of the official launch date. And I quote, We have seen reports of Halo 4 content being propped up on the web and are working closely with our security teams and law enforcement to address the situation. In the years that I've been reading about leaked video games, any statement that isn't an outright denial means this rumor is probably the worst case scenario for them. I really don't know how to feel about it. It must be terribly disappointing for the people who are working and developing the game who've poured their blood and their sweat and their tears into this game. And then somebody just leaks the game and totally steals their thunder. On the other hand, it's kind of the nature of the beast. Gamers, the media, everyone wants the latest details or wants the game first so they can give the latest details. So I really don't know how to feel about it, especially since all of this could just be a media racket to keep us on the edge of our seats for Halo 4, as if we need more incentive. How do you feel about games being leaked? Is it wrong? Or is it just bound to happen? Let me know down in the comments below. That's all the news I have for today. Love and peace from my PC tears.